Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Rodriguez formula for the Legendre polynomials. Let's recall that the Legendre polynomials have the form Pn of x, which is the sum k goes from 0 up to the floor of n over 2, negative 1 to the k, and then we'll have a 2n minus 2k factorial, and x to the n minus 2k over 2 to the power n, k factorial, n minus k factorial, and then n minus 2k factorial. And that can, this factorial, this last factorial, is what gives us this condition that k has to be less than the floor of n over 2 for this factorial to make sense. Okay? Great. All right, and so now we have a theorem due to the, the Rodriguez. And what this theorem states is the following. It says that if I look at 1 over 2 to the power n, n factorial, and then I do n derivatives, that means due to the derivative operator, the d operator, n times, of the polynomial x squared minus 1 to the power n, which is a polynomial of degree 2n, we exactly get these Legendre polynomials, pn of x. Okay? And so, of course, we're going to do this in two phases. And so the key lemma that we need is the following. And so the lemma that we're going to use is this. It's sort of a simple exercise is that if I do L derivatives of x to the m, what we'll get is the following. We're going to get an m times m minus 1 times m minus L plus 1. That's all the powers that come down. And then x to the m minus L, which is going to be m factorial over m minus L factorial x to the m minus L. Okay, so that's the lemma we're going to need over that. So the derivative of the L derivative of x to the m is... All right, and so now let's binomial expand this so the proof goes as follows. So proof, we're going to expand x squared minus 1 to the power n as a binomial expansion. That's the sum k goes from 0 to n. Then we're going to have an x to the power of 2 n minus k, and then negative 1 to the power k, and then times the binomial coefficients n choose k. All right, so I just apply the binomial theorem to that expression over there. And so now i got to differentiate this n times over here. So the derivative, of course, is a linear operator. So if I do n derivatives of this expression, x squared minus 1 to the power n, that's just the sum k goes from 0 up to n of n derivatives of this thing over here. So I have n derivatives of x to the 2n minus 2k. Then we'll have a negative 1 to the k. Then we'll have an n factorial over k factorial, n minus k factorial, like that. All right? And so now we can use our lemma. And what does our lemma tell us? Our lemma tells us that over here, my, at, my m is being played by, my m is being played by 2n minus 2k. My l is being played by n. And so what's this going to give us over here? This is exactly going to give us the sum k goes from 0 to n. And actually, I'm going to put the floor of n over here, but let's just do it like this for now. So we're just going to say the up to n for now. So let's say up just up to n. Up to n. Of what? Of, we're going to have an m, so an, an m factorial, so that's going to give me a 2n, 2n minus 2k factorial over m minus l, so m minus l is n minus 2k, so n minus 2k factorial. And then what? And then we're going to have an x to the m minus l. So that's going to be an x to the n minus 2k. That's what we do the derivative. We have a negative 1 to the k, an n factorial, a k factorial, an n minus k factorial. Great. And so now at this point, we have to observe that this doesn't make sense unless k is less than, unless k is going to be less than, 2k is less than n. So I need that 2k is less than n. So this is all k from 0 to n such that k is less than 2 uh, 2k is less than 2n, so 2k is less than 2n. 2k is less than 2n. And that means that we can replace this condition over here with just the floor of n over 2. So what this expression turns into is the following. Now, if I divide this by a 2 to the n and n factorial, so therefore, what do we get? So therefore, 1 over 2 to the n, n factorial, times d square, dn x squared minus 1 to the power n 
is exactly equal to, well, the n factorial is going to cancel out, but to the denominator, it's going to be the sum. K goes from 0 to the floor of n over 2. Negative 1 to the k. We have that. That was gone. We have a 2n minus 2k. We have an x to the n minus 2k. We have a k factorial. We have an n minus k factorial. We have an n minus 2k factorial. And we have a 2 to the power n. And we look and we see that's exactly equal to just the Legendre polynomial Pn, Pn of x. Beautiful. So that proves the Rodriguez formula. Now this is a very interesting application. So what's the application of this? So our application is the following. Our application is the orthogonality on the interval negative 1 to 1. Okay. Now what do we mean by that? If n is not equal to m, so we can assume that m is less than n without, without loss of generality, like that, then the integral from negative 1 to 1 of pn of x, pm of x, dx, is equal to 0. In other words, those two functions, pn and pm, are orthogonal on 0, 1. Now, how can we see that? Well, this is going to be what? I'm going to replace pn with its, Legend with its Rodriguez formula. This is the integral from negative 1 to 1. And then I'm going to pull out that 1 over n factorial to the power n. Then I have n derivatives of what? n derivatives of x squared minus 1 to the power n times pm of x dx. Okay? Now, every time I integrate by parts, I put a derivative from one function onto the other, right? So that process is integrating by parts. And when I look at the boundary limits, when I plug in either 1 or negative 1 to the function I get over here, what's going to happen? I'm going to get a 0 because x squared minus 1 vanishes at 1 and negative 1, and so do any derivatives of that, which makes it non-trivial, right? So in other words, these expressions all have to vanish at 1 and negative 1, and so by passing m pass m plus 1, which is at least n, there's more than, there's enough of them, onto pm integrating by parts. If I do m plus 1 derivatives of pm, m plus 1 derivatives of pm is going to be equal to 0, and all the boundary terms are gone, so that proves that these, ortho these Legendre polynomials are orthogonal on the interval negative 1 to 1 with respect to the Lebesgue measure as the measure against integration. Thank you very much.